Hello, my name is George Ash. This drawing was created using AutoCAD. Actually, this is one of many drawings that I am uploading to YouTube. There will be between 20 to 30 new drawings available soon. My students at the Technical Institute where I teach have fun with them. When they are available for download, I'm sure you will enjoy them as well. The purpose here is to recreate the solid model of the object shown. We will erase the solid and then redraw it. I'm going to erase the solid now and double click inside the large viewport and going back into model space. Using the rectangle command I will, I will trace the rectangle in the front view and move it to the upper right corner of the viewport. Now I'll use a polyline and trace the polygon in the middle of the rectangle and move that as well. We don't have to but I think it's a good idea if we move into the southeast isometric view at this time. And let's zoom in on the new drawing. Let's extrude the large rectangle a distance of 1.25 I should have mentioned that we want to extrude it in a downward manner so you would type minus 1.25. Now let's extrude the polygon inside in a downward position so we'll type minus 0.5. Now subtract the polygon from this rectangle. You can make the subtraction by typing the word subtract or pushing the button on the solid editing toolbar. It looks okay but let's make sure. We will now use the 3D rotate command which can be found on the modeling toolbar so as to rotate the object 90 degrees clockwise. To accomplish this, we'll select the red ribbon, causing it to turn to yellow, and then type 90. Now we'll shade the object by selecting the conceptual visual style from the visual styles toolbar. The drawing looks fine so now let's zoom extents and we'll move into the top view and finally center the 2D drawing. If we double click outside the viewport, we'll be able to create another smaller viewport in which to show the solid model. We'll make another viewport by typing the command mview, spelled M-V-I-E-W, enter. And all we have to do is pick two points. Now we're going to double click inside the smaller viewport, pan and zoom, and move to the southeast isometric view so as to show the solid in a better position. After you double click outside the small window, you'll want to make sure that uh, both viewports are on the same layer called V-Ports so that we'll be able to freeze them. By freezing the layer of V-Ports, the rectangular uh, drawings of the viewport become invisible, but the drawings remain. 
this is the end of the tutorial. However, another clip will now be added so that you might become aware of other videos which I am producing. For more information regarding these videos, please contact me via email. Thank you for watching. I hope that you will want to practice making solids models. It's fun. Thank you again.